हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू न्यूजी अंटिल संडे इटालियन एथलीट लेमोंट मार्सेल जेकब्स वाज नॉट वेल नोन इन हिज ओन कंट्री लेट अलोन द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट आफ्टर अ स्टनिंग विक्ट्री इन द ओलंपिक मेंस 100 मीटर फाइनल इन टोक्यो ही सडनली बिकेम द फास्टेस्ट मैन ऑन अर्थ टेकिंग द मोस्ट कोवेटेड टाइटल in athletics and becoming the first champion in the post Usain Bolt era and doing it in a European record time of 9.80 seconds. Jacobs grew up in a small, quiet northern Italian town by Lake Garda, one of the country's picturesque holiday destinations. He was born in the United States to an Italian mother and a US serviceman father was brought up by his mother after his parents when he was a baby. He was a long jumper before concentrating on sprinting following an injury. His mother owns Hotel Florence in the little town of Manerba Salgarda. where his family and friends who could not go to Tokyo due to coronavirus restrictions gathered to watch the race and were ecstatically celebrating as he crossed the finish line. Viviana Messini was bursting with pride as she spoke to us at her hotel. It's incredible. She explained. It's uh, incredible. He, uh, since uh, I was a little child, I was a little running. So since uh, I was a little child, I would look all the Olympic game and I guess all my feeling, I give it to him. And we were always watching Olympic, athletic, every, everywhere. So when we were following the competition, uh, we always say, oh yes, oh, I will be there one day, mom. And I said, yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. At the hotel, she proudly shows off his old running shoes, which are on display on a shelving unit among pictures of him as a child and various awards. Messini said that they struggled to get sponsorship because Jacobs, who is mixed race, is an Italian guy that doesn't look Italian. You know, uh, for an Italian guy that don't look Italian, it was very hard for us to find sponsor, to find a help with the money-wise and everything. And uh, now he is really explained and uh, people must feel how strong he is, really. So he deserves now to get the money that he deserves, the fan that he deserves, and all their life change in uh, such a way. It has been a good year for Italy. They won the Eurovision Song Contest, the Soccer European Championship, made the Wimbledon men's final and now proudly have the world's fastest man to add to their list. Because this for me was the Italian year, just from the football and from the music. We lost at the Wimbledon, but it's the Italian year. <laughs> Jacobs had fired a warning with a European record of 9.84 in the semis to become the first Italian to make the final. But even in the most open-looking showdown for decades, the man who had never gone under 10 seconds until this year still seemed a long shot to be the first European winner since Britain Linford Christie in 1992. In the absence of Bolt, who retired in 2017 after a hat-trick of titles, it was always going to be an open race, but it became all the more so after world champion Christian Coleman was banned for an anti-doping violation and American Trevon Bromel, the world lead and pre-race favorite, failed to make the final. With former world champion Johan Blake also failing at the semi-final stage, it was the first time since 2000 that no Jamaican had been on the start line. 
24 hours after the country had a completed clean sweep in the women's event. No Italian has ever reached the Olympic 100 meter final, but the country has had two champions in the 200 meters. Hope you like this video. Please share it and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. Thank you.